Yeah, especially since you don't want to have an image of Eggman, <laughs> like, half naked in the swimming pool. Where do you think you're going? Oh hi, he's just kind of appeared. Too late, buddy. It's a chaos emerald. What? I don't need you. Service, sir. Of these that was weird, but Sonic Side just like yeah. Aye, aye, sir. We'll comply. I've got better things to do. Yeah. I have to do big story. I got a fish. Yeah, you don't even have to have a fight here, because, yeah, it wouldn't make sense for Amy to fight Gamma. Gamma. But this is what, kind of what I meant with, uh, like, Please these... Stop. Well, at least Amy and Gamma, I'm not sure about Big, but yeah, they're pretty heavy on story, or cutscenes. Amy. And it can be a little bit exhausting. I kind of feel like Sonic is a little bit too easily convinced, but whatever. I mean, I don't think, well, they don't really need to drag that on, to be fair, but yeah. And he also has the codes for proper mouth animations that I need to get. Nah, it's Baz attack mode. Don't pay attention to Eggman anymore. Free yourself. Come on. Why are you helping me? I said we'd be friends, and I'm returning your favor. Even this birdie wants you to be free. Eggman's not the kind of man you should work for. Amy, come on, let's get going. Until we meet again, Mr. Robot. Take care of yourself. And unbeknownst to Amy, that's never gonna happen. Well, t technically. Y you you'll see what I mean. Got a lot seeing this. <laughs> uh. <sighs> yeah, cutscenes, it doesn't help that they aren't, again, not a lot happens in the cutscenes most of the time, so it's, that doesn't really help it. I don't mind Amy's theme, but it's just kind of awkward for me to listen to. To be fair, like, the only two times Sonic's really rescued you to my knowing is Sonic CD and this game. And even then, this game, Sonic barely even did anything to rescue you. Like, you kind of did most of it yourself. 
or well, Gamma helped, obviously, but yeah. Now first off, before we go to the the uh, forest area again, we want to go back to the egg carrier because like I- oh, okay, don't fall. Yeah, because like I said, once the egg carrier crashes, we can actually go to the uh, minigame again and get the hammer upgrade. Now, <laughs> well I just got a m message from Jason while a cutscene was going on, but yeah, you be you don't actually get the upgrade from being a high scorer, I think, apparently from Sonic Wiki or whatever, you have to get um, 3,000 points or something like that, so, what, whatever the case may be, I'm just going to get as many points as possible, because, yeah, may as well guarantee the chance of me getting it. Alright, let's get this thing, let's get this thing. It's not really worth much, like... I actually didn't know about this thing for the for a very long time, and even when I knew about it, it didn't really help me that much. But hey, it's it's cool. It's a cool little secret, I guess. All right, now we just do it. Do this again. I don't think you can get minus points. Fun. Uh, so don't have to worry about that. Alright, well, we've already gotten 3,000, at least. Did we get 4,000? Yeah. Yay! And now we should get the upgrade. The giant hammer or something? The long hammer, that's it. Here's the long hammer. Your attack radius is now increased. Try the spin hammer attack. Oh yeah, I never used that. <laughs> yeah, it makes a it makes a new sound in the the it has a a little bit of a larger radius. It's not substantial, but yeah, it's a little bit bigger. And I guess th that is a little bit wider as well. But it's really. It's really small, like it's r really small of a uh, of a uh, like radius increase. It's like a few inches, it feels like, but it helps like, a little bit. All right, come on, go. There we go. Alright, and now we just go to the Mystic Ruins. Is it this way? No, that's the boat. Yeah, no, I don't want to go to Station Square. Boom. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. Yep. Now we just have to. Now we just have to go to. Um, what is this? The uh, base area again for the third time. Yeah, third time. Oh man, I have to go through this again. Or well, you can just like, stay above the area, oh man. Well, oh, I almost did it, but 
Yeah, you can stay... You can, like, keep yourself from falling and it makes it a lot easier to get to this place. Because you don't have to worry about going through the maze or anything like that. But we made it for the... We went through most of it, so... Looks like he just wants to have a carnival there. Or something. Well, kind of had to rescue the bird's parents, so yeah. Alright, now, do you have to do the switch? Yeah, you have to do this again. go and then hit this and then yay all right not you again <laughs> no <laughs> all right now funnily enough this is actually the uh, well I don't know. If, I don't know if it's shorter than Twinkle Park, but it's definitely shorter than Hot Shelter. Like you go from like a five to eight minute level to like a two minute one, and it's kind of funny. No, I'm not complaining. Like it would be kind of stupid if this was like eleven minutes or something ridiculous like that. But yeah, it's kind of weird how the second level was really long, and this is just like incredibly short in comparison. But yeah. I mean, when, when, when you're going in a straight line, I mean, decently fast, but it's like, she has no movement speed, if you will. Like, it's kind of weird to explain, but like, if you're moving around like this, you lose all your speed. And, yeah. It's like, you only get some, a sense of speed when you're moving just forward and nothing but that. Which, I don't really like. Like, if you just... If you could keep that speed while moving around freely, I think Amy's story would be a lot more enjoyable to me. But yeah. Just go through here. And here you just have to like go through all these different doors and hope that you get the right one. I think it's luck based. I don't think it's ever the same. Like if I think this is just random randomized. All right, there we go. Didn't take, didn't take long. All right, and I'll go through here, and yeah, the end of the end of the level. Right. Not even two minutes. to go back to the air carrier and do one very easy boss and then Amy's story is done but yeah yeah <laughs> kind of wish it just kind of transitioned to the air carrier because yeah trying to need having to get over there manually is a little bit annoying but yeah but yeah Well, you're not far from them, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I 
I guess one thing to talk about is that, like, I kind of feel like uh, just going, kind of going on a little bit of a tangent, and we are playing as Amy, so I guess this is, it is relevant, but I kind of feel like there is a bit too much hate towards uh, Amy as a character. Like, some of it I can, can kind of get, like, she she can get uh, be annoying at times, I guess, but I don't know, I just... I, most of the time when stuff like that happens, it's meant for, like, not really comic relief, but... What, what should we call it? Like, I don't know, I just... I don't know, I, I enjoy... I find Amy, like, fun as a character. Like, I don't really find her annoying. Like, she she kind of comes across across that uh, sometimes, I, I guess. Like, it's, I think, well, I think the main, <laughs> the main game that comes to mind with that is, like, Free Riders, but that felt r kind of our character f to me, uh, but other than, other than that, I don't know, I, I, I like Amy as a character, I think she gets a bit too much hate, to be honest. Why does this robot even care at this point? Like, Eggman got the emerald from the bird. If that's what the ro well, that's what the why uh, they captured Amy and the bird in the first place. So like, really, this robot just kind of, is just kind of like trolling us, for lack of a better word. Alright, so basically what you want to do is just, just keep hitting this guy with, with your hammer until you knock him into the fence, the electric fence there, and then just hit his little light bulb thing, and yeah, just keep doing this. Yeah, just do jump attacks, like him, as soon as he... Uh, as soon as he does like the uh, the pound attack, because some people like like to believe that you you have to wait for him to stop doing that. No, just wait for him to well jump and avoid his shockwave attack, and then do as you're in the air attack him, and then do that in oh <laughs> 2013. I mean I'm in the past, but yeah, either way, just do what I did, and you'll. Easily beat him. Please wake up, Birdie. Nope, he's dead. <laughs> Are you okay? Can you fly? God, God, love the over, the overexpressive eyes. Yeah, I don't know what this is about. I do like this little character de de development here, though. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna be it for Amy's story. So thanks for watching. 
Yeah, it was really short, I know. But with that said, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys next time for... Uh, big and Fishing. I'll see you guys then. Lucky.